First safety off the board, Kyle Hamilton. That's who we thought it would be. Wasn't sure where he'd go, but he goes with the 14th overall selection to the Baltimore Ravens. This is a consensus All-American, and this is a big, big player for that position. You see him in excess of 6'4 when he measured 220 pounds. This is not your older brother or your father or your aunt or your uncle's safety. This is a modern day big safety. Kyle Hamilton from the Fighting Irish going to Baltimore. All right, Brady Quinn played at Notre Dame. Knows something about being a member of the Irish going in the first round. What do you think of the Kyle Hamilton fit with him and the Baltimore Ravens? Yeah, I think the best part about this is, you know, even though there's the history of Ed Reed, look, Kyle Hamilton's not Ed Reed, not the same player. I'm not going to put him in the same breath as one another. And that being said, he's a versatile player. You can put him in the box. You can put him in the deep middle, deep half of the field. And that's what Mike McDonald's going to do. I almost see him playing a role. If you go back and watch some of Daxton Hill at Michigan this past year, where Mike McDonald was the defensive coordinator, I think that's more of the role he's going to play in Baltimore. And then from time to time, matching up against running backs and tight ends when they do want to play man-to-man. But this is a defense that needed safety help. They've got two lockdown corners in Humphreys and Marcus Peters. And so it's a, it's a big get, and it's one of those chess pieces that Mike McDonald showcased he liked to use at Michigan. And he'll do that now at Baltimore as well with Kyle Hamilton. All right, uh, Ryan Wilson, wh- what did you think of Kyle Hamilton? I-, I think most people, I didn't see anybody who didn't have him as the number one safety, but I did see him all over the board. I saw mock drafts where he was picked four, five, six, and I saw mock drafts where he went much later than this and throws him in the middle right there at 14 to Baltimore. That's right, safety one for me, um, based primarily on what we saw during the season with his college shape because he balled out each and every week when he was healthy. I had him going about the middle of the first round in my final mock draft. And I think, and Pete will tell you this, that was based on the, the lead up to the draft, the combine time, four, five, nine, the uh, pro day time, the four sevens. Now that doesn't make you feel good if you're a Kyle Hamilton, but I think at the end of the day, his play speed is much faster than what we saw uh, when he was running those 40 yard dashes. And I know, Pete, you have issues with his ability to flip his hips, but I think in the right system, Ron Rivera's defensive guy, he has a chance to be successful. Well, let me ask you this. When you look at Hamilton, where does he play? I mean, where does where will he play in their defense? Is I mean, he, they can utilize him similar to what Seattle did with Cam Chancellor. He'd be an apex and, defender. And, and remember, Baltimore gave Marcus Williams a lot of money to command the post. So you got two safeties that can coexist, similar to what we saw so with Earl, Camp, Chuck Clark Earl, on the, Earl Thomas. So what are you saying, Chuck Clark down? He's not playing anymore? No, when you draft him first round, Hamilton is going to See, be the I other See, I think he's going to be used more like a buck linebacker, a dime linebacker. When more you than say a, buck linebacker. Like a dime linebacker. He comes down in the nickel and then the dime and but plays like a linebacker. Like, I mean, but, is there anybody? I heard someone say Isaiah Simmons type of thing where he's like that kind of size. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. you got to understand most offenses come out in multi-set offenses when you have multiple wide receivers. Right. So most defenses, their base defense is a nickel package. And three safeties package. have become much more prevalent than they yeah. used to be. And, and I understand there were concerns about what he ran in the combine this pro day. But when you turn on the tape, you see a fast guy. And a, a guy big that, guy. And a big guy that can move. When you can find a guy who's 6'4", that can move like Hamilton has been able to showcase, you go get him. I, I, this is a, a Baltimore Raven type pick yeah. defensively. Which does not make you happy because that's the division rival for you guys. <laughs> yeah, but I have to be unbiased here. Because uh, that's your strength when it comes to the By Steelers. By the way, we, Brady Quinn should never, ever, ever invoke the name of Ed Reed when talking about Oh, no, and he was, uh, to be fair to Brady. I know. I'm Brady kidding. in no way. And, and went out of his way. See, that's just me. Because he went out of his way to say, I'm not saying he's Ed Reed. And then what do you do? You come on and you say, you shouldn't compare to Ed Reed. He didn't I didn't say he was going to be better than Ed Reed. I'm just saying, Ed Reed might be the last safety that actually was an impact safety in the game. That's Troy Polamalu, think, uh, draft a year later. And they, both of them were the same. They, they were the same era. Both they don't change the game anymore. I, I don't right, like well, the Well, I mean, this is a guy that, again, I feel like physically is a little different than some of the other guys who were playing that position, which is why I asked, who is he like? Where does he go? What does he do? Because this is a, an unusual guy in a, in a team. But I agree. This just fits. I, he feels like a Raven player. Sometimes you can see a guy when he's picked in that jersey already. Yes. Like, I can see him in Baltimore already. This is a physical player, a big player, the first Notre Dame player, the first safety off the board. There he is, Kyle Hamilton to Baltimore.
the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.